Sometimes you bump into an accessory that changes the way you train and you just cannot look back. Hi everybody, I'm Yair and welcome to my channel. If you're into fitness and tech, you came to the right place. So the Stride Footpod claims to train you always in your sweet spot and you'll never run out of power. Is that true? Let's find out. The Stride Footpod is a very small device. In order to use it, you just charge it and place it in the cradle attached to your shoelaces and that's it, you're good to go. You don't even need to do anything since it will start recording immediately when you start to run. I've got the second generation of the device which means that in order to track your running power it takes into account your speed, slope, run form, fatigue and the wind. It weighs only 8 grams and you won't even feel it's there on your foot. The battery life is up to 20 hours of actual runtime. Additionally there is an internal flash drive that will store up to 9 hours of run data. I can testify that the battery life is great and I rarely charge it, maybe once a month. You charge it using the cradle, it's a shame that the charging cable is a micro USB and not type C. Stride support both Bluetooth and N+, and I rarely found connection issues. There were few, especially in the beginning of my run with the Apple Watch when it took about a minute to, for, to find the device. Also my Zwift tended to try to connect to the Stride rather than my bike trainer even though it was stored in my room drawer. The price for the Stride Footpod is 149 US dollars if you pay for a six month of premium subscription for another 60 US dollars, which uh, is about 210 bucks in total. You can also buy the Footpod for 219 dollars if you don't want the subscription. The subscription gives you an access to training plans, workout builder, workout library and workout collections and advanced analytics. It is worth noting that you'll need a compatible device to follow a workout on your wrist. That means that for now you'll need an Apple Watch or a compatible Garmin watch and you do it by downloading the app from Connect IQ. Otherwise you'll just get the power output and post run analysis. So does it really work? In my experience it does. Following a power output is much easier for me than to follow a certain pace or try to take into account the desired one during a climb. I feel that it made me a much better runner since I know my effort in any given time. The Stride Footpod measures the following metrics on a run. Power, air power, form power and form power ratio, ground contact time, vertical oscillation, cadence, leg spring stiffness, pace and distance. Even though that half of the metrics in this list aren't that useful in my opinion and are more nice to have, the real-time pace and distance and power of course are a real treat. Since relying on GPS sampling for tracking changes in speed for intervals is problematic, Stride is just solving this issue. Also the distance measurement is much more accurate than satellite and it will also give you real distance you traveled on a treadmill. By the way, if you're a Zwift user, you will be happy to know that Stride is compatible with Zwift and you can go on a virtual run using Stride and enjoy all the benefits of Zwift for running as well. Here we can look at some analysis of a run. So this is a 50 minutes, about 8 kilometers run. You can see that I had some intervals, the strides. And you can see all the metrics here, you have a breakdown. You can dive into each metric and you can have a graph and combine all of them together so you won't miss any metrics here. If you are a premium user, you can use training plans. They offer plans for 5, 10k, half marathon and full marathon. The plans are balanced and good, but you don't have a lot of flexibility in adjusting the plans for your specific needs. 
For instance, I wanted to incorporate the half marathon plan in my half Ironman training and couldn't adjust the plan to be like three times a week. Stride is compatible with all major watch manufacturers, including Garmin, Apple, Corus, Wahoo, Suntu, and Polar. As I mentioned in the beginning, only Garmin and Apple support a native app which you can view your workouts on. In the Corus app, for instance, you can view all the data of the run directly in the app but only post-workout. So Stride is an amazing tool. I got it as a birthday present for my wife and I thank her every day for that. I can't imagine heading out for a run without it and I find the training plans good and balanced. I just wish that there were more options in the training plans and more suggestions of how to use all the metrics in the, that the footpot provides. If you're passionate about running, and want one of the best tools out there to help you measure your effort and own a Garmin or an Apple Watch, Stride is highly recommended. So go get one, you won't regret it. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to train hard and bye.